Good Tuesday morning, Hebrews 9.28. He will come again, not to deal with our sins, but to bring salvation to all who eagerly wait for him. Jesus promised he will return. John 14.3 says, And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. You know, once you've accepted the sacrifice he's made to release you from the bondage of sin, you have the opportunity to join him where he is. His one-time sacrifice was enough to save us from damnation and to make the saved the recipients of eternal life in a peaceful place, prepared for us by Jesus himself. There is, however, the question of this waiting. I'm sure the people of the days when Jesus walked on the earth thought he meant he'd be back in a few months. I doubt any of them anticipated they would die themselves before Jesus returned. Now here we are, thousands of years after the crucifixion and the resurrection, and Jesus still has not returned. Have you ever found yourself doubting your conviction that he is coming? Yes, I know the verse, a thousand years as a day, days as a thousand years of the Lord. But why so long? Personally, I think it's a test of our loyalty to him and the sincerity of our repentance. God knows how fallible we are, and we're easily misled and very weak in our resistance of our favorite sins. 1 Peter 5, 8 warns us, be alert, be on watch. Your enemy, the devil, roams around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Warnings on the suddenness of Jesus' return can be found throughout the New Testament. Matthew 24, As lightning that comes from the east is visible in the west, so will the coming of the Son of Man be. Two men will be in a field, one will be taken, the other left. No one knows the day or the hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Luke 24, verse 40 says, You also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour you do not expect him. You know, when I was in my 20s, I was so dogmatic in my theological positions. If you didn't believe what I believed, I didn't think you could possibly be a real Christian. Forty more years down the road, I am way more understanding of the diversity of Christian theology. You know, the church has been debating Arminianism versus Calvinism for hundreds of years, and I'm not willing to argue that point. But I have seen a pattern repeated time and time again that just breaks my heart. People who've been washed in the blood of the Lamb who just wander off the righteous path, thinking they've got all the time in the world to fix things before Jesus comes. Like the bridesmaids in Matthew 25 who didn't take extra oil for their lamps and they had to rush off to purchase more, they missed the celebration completely. Now you work out your Calvinism versus Arminianism of what being caught off guard means eternally, but I I have watched so many professing Christians wander away from Jesus and they're clearly not prepared for his return. Jesus paid the price for our sins once and for all. If you've accepted that wonderful gift of forgiveness, don't waste it. Steer clear of all the things that the Spirit of God does not approve of. And don't think for a minute that Jesus will not be coming today so you can relax. You don't know when Jesus is coming. Like a pregnant woman waiting for labor to begin, you need to have your bag packed and ready to go. So, are you prepared? If you're still mulling over Arminianism versus Calvinism and whether or not having prayed a sinner's prayer is preparation enough, let me answer that plain and simple. It's not. If you prayed a sinner's prayer 40 years ago like I did, and you think you've done all you need to prepare for Christ's return, you are sadly mistaken. 1 Peter 3.15 tells us that our preparation for Christ's return must include worshiping Christ and Him being Lord of your life. And if someone asks you of your hope as a believer, always be ready to explain it. If you have not explained your hope as a believer in Jesus Christ to an unbeliever in the last 12 months, you're not as ready as you think you are. In Luke 21, the Lord said, watch out, 
Don't let your hearts be dull by carousing and drunkenness and by the worries of this life. Don't let that day catch you unaware like a trap. For that day will come upon everyone living on the earth. Keep alert at all times and pray that you might be strong enough to escape these coming horrors and stand before the Son of Man. If you're hopeless, you're not prepared to stand before Christ when he returns. If you're full of hope in the Lord Jesus Christ, but you've not told anybody, you're not prepared either. Jesus is coming. If he doesn't come today, I'll see you tomorrow. But in the meantime, get ready to tell somebody about Jesus today.